this was literally the easiest shift lap wall I have ever done. And I've done a lot of them. And I got it done in less than two hours with zero power tools. Let me show you how. Hello and welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Corey. Today I am going to be fixing up this wall in my master bedroom. It has been covered in this peel and stick wallpaper for about a year now. We originally had very 1970s gold, yellow, orange florals on this wall when we bought our house. And we took that wallpaper down, leaving the backing of the original wallpaper and painting over it before putting on this peel and stick wallpaper. Unfortunately, this peel and stick wallpaper didn't stick very well. Not only that, but it shrank, leaving a really big gap in between each of the pieces. So thanks to Renoboard who is sponsoring this video, we are going to give this wall a beautiful shiplap look, and it is going to be extremely easy, and I believe any of you can do this too. The prep work for this project is going to be really simple. The first thing that we need to do is just remove all of the switches and plug covers. Now I'm gonna remove all this old peel and stick wallpaper. I had some staples and nails in the wall, so I made sure to remove those as well before my husband came in and primed the wall. Reno boards stick best to non-textured surfaces, so if your wall is textured, make sure you sand down the wall and prime and paint it first. Finally, it's time for the fun part, which is to unbox my shiplap. Reno boards are created to look like wood, but they're more flexible and lighter weight for easier installation. You don't need any special tools or any grout to install it. It goes by super quickly and any skill level can definitely do this project. The boards are designed to cover more area than the average peel and stick products. They also give room for creativity, so you can apply them in any direction, cut out shapes, or make custom designs if you want to. The part that makes this product something that I love so much is that you can cut it with scissors. <laughs> really, they mean no special tools are needed when they give you the instructions for this stuff. I cut 90% of what I did with regular house scissors that weren't even that sharp, and I also used a razor blade for some of the other areas that were a little more difficult to get my scissors into, but still extremely easy to cut. After dry fitting that funky corner cut there, we just peeled off the back and lined it up and stuck it to the wall. If you are curious as to what little tracer tool we used to cut out that corner area was, I have one linked in my Amazon store down below in the description box.
I know that a lot of times creative minds, when they see a project done, they start thinking of ways that they could make it themselves. And if you were thinking of applying this in your house, I just wanted to let you know that it does need to be done in an indoor setting. They are waterproof, which means that you can install them near a shower or a sink, but they are not fireproof, so do not apply these on a fireplace. If you are new to my channel, you might be wondering if I am pregnant by these side views of my belly in the video. And yes, I am. I am about five months pregnant at the time that I filmed this video. So don't be worried to ask in the comment section if I'm pregnant. I know that's such a funny taboo question to ask somebody because you never know. But just so you know, you can ask me about it if you want to. Or if not, you can ease your mind and know that yes, I am pregnant. And it was very easy to complete this project while pregnant. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here. And if you want to see more of my easy DIY friendly projects, click this video right here.